Okay, yeah, as I was about to say, this guy here holds a key that I need to get a painting that was stolen. Which is right here, in fact. So, uh, he could sometimes be a pain in the butt. But with dog, I should be able to get him. So, let's go ahead and start in combat mode. Make sure we're in turn-based. Oh, he's going to hit me, huh? There we go. Oh, he dodged it. Yikes. Uh-oh. There we go. Yeah. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, got it. See, I think that's all I have to do over here for now. Thinking. Yeah, I think that's it. I have a fate point too, which I can use at some point. Probably gonna need that to open a few chests. Okay, I think I'm gonna go back over here and we're gonna steal. We're gonna return the painting, then steal from the chest, I think. Yeah, it sounds like a good idea. This guy in here holds a nice ring. It's uh, the Ring of Human Influence, I think. It gives you plus three charisma and plus three beauty, depending on your magical aptitude. And it also increases haggle and persuasion skills. Um, it's a nice thing to have. I don't really need it. Um, to get it, you've got to either kill him or steal it. Or he might give it to you at some point, but certainly not in the beginning. Um, however, I don't need it that badly at this point, or I'd probably use a fate point to steal it. I don't actually need it at all, really, but... Okay, where's the painting? I'm gonna go over here and rob this chest, I think. It's an easy 3,000 gold. Just got to watch out for this guy right here. I don't think he's going to bother me, though, right now. There it is. What is it that you want of me? Ah, you're in the way, dude. I can't select it. Oh, you got to be kidding me another problem with this game. Okay, so I just got uh, 3,000 gold right there. And down here, if you want to... I think the chest is locked, unfortunately. It's it's guarded by a bunch of mechanical arachnids, but there's... Was it a... What's down here? I forgot what was down here, but there's a chest down here with something useful. I forgot what it was. It wasn't useful enough for me to remember it, though. So let's get out of here. Okay, so let's see. What, what level am I? I'm level 5. I'm in the zone for what I want to do here. In fact, let me go get expert repair. Oh, I was going to pick up a pick up a scroll of exiting, but I guess he doesn't have any. Fair enough. This guy's got a ring in the sewers that you can get for him. Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll, maybe we'll do that. Oh, I know what I was going to do. First, let's do this. Buff up our intellect so we can get... Should be able to get expert repair... 
Okay, I got expert repair. That means I can get mastery repair at some point. Do we have anything to sell? No, we don't. Okay. Let's go finish up the quests over here that I was doing over this section. We've got to go get the crystal ball. Got to go up here and bring the crystal ball back to this lady here. And I will get plus one charisma for that quest after I complete it. Which isn't too bad. While I'm up here, I think I might visit the magic shop too. I'm going to actually take that because you can sell it for like a hundred gold. Okay, now this guy, I believe, has a chance, a small chance of getting teleport. I need just one, one teleport scroll. I can't sell that, huh? One little old teleport scroll. Well, he doesn't have it yet. Okay, in that case, we're going to go ahead and wait for one. I'm sorry, but I need one teleport scroll. It will make my life so much easier if I can get one. Another scroll of exiting wouldn't hurt either. Let's have a, how about another one? Nope. This is the only time I'm going to do this. Come on. <laughs> I tell you what. Maybe, rather than having you wait for me to load up a teleport scroll with this guy, I might just um, go ahead and turn off the record until I find one. All right, am I? Yep, yeah, okay, we're on. Um, I don't know what to say here, but this guy doesn't seem to be stocking a teleportation scroll for some reason. And I've spent, uh, oh, I don't know, 30 minutes? How long has it been? Yeah, it's been about that. 30 minutes trying to reload this guy so he can give me a teleportation scroll, but it's not happening. So, um, forget that. Uh, let me just get, uh, get another exiting scroll. Yeah. Hasten. Can't sell this. Get that, maybe. We'll probably need that at some point. Alright, so I guess we'll have to do without that, which is a crying shame. Alright, so let's go. Where was I? Where was I in the story here? I think I was going back to Madame Tussaud to get my my reward. What else was I doing? Maybe find that guy's ring in the sewers, and that's probably it. It's a bummer. That means I'm going to have to walk through this one area that I don't want to walk through. Oh, well. One charisma. Ooh, yeah. Ah, level five. I think we can go for the go for the gold here. Um. Okay. I'm gonna He's go. Done. Whoops. I'm gonna go get this guy's ring. I guess. Ah. 
nice and easy. Okay, so got a little closer to the level right there. Was there something else I got to do? I think I remember something else. There's probably a couple more dinky quests I could do. Yeah, let's get to level 6. Oh, well, you know what I probably should do? Probably should do the main quest, huh? Well, first there's one more little dinky thing I want to do that can get me a free level. done this while I was over here. Oh, this is the wrong house. There's a guy in here with a pretty good ring that I'll steal at some point. gun shop for all you gun fanatics. I don't like going the tech route because it's it's a lot more hassle. So it's it's fun in a way, but Okay, there's my level. Okay, so now we're going to advance the storyline a little bit here. I'm gonna see about this ring over here and we're gonna go into this one building and uh let's see get some crap i guess probably get a few levels out of it too what am i level six what is he level eight yeah i can't recruit him yet that's okay i wouldn't have room for him anyway but this guy carries a pretty nice gauntlet if you are a dwarf, you definitely want to get this gauntlet off him, either by stealing it or killing him. Or you can hire him if you're into that. Knocked off his leg. Okay, I think we're going to run through here. First of all, I'm going to go check these chests just for fun. It's another one of those coins. I do need those for a quest, I think. That wasn't really worth it. Let's get the hell down here. chest over here right there's a chest over here is there something there's something right here too oh a big fat axe mm. 
Oh no. I might be in trouble. Actually, let's go ahead and reload that. I think I'm in trouble. Yeah. Gotta be careful about that. Okay. Oh, looks like a good item there. Alright, there we go. Easy enough. What is it that you want of me? Yes, of course. I don't like Lee. I don't know why I can't see their their icons up here. Oh, okay. Ha! Huh, I closed it. What is it that I'm That's why. I'm like, what the heck? Yeah, it looks like a good step, but I'll bet it sucks. Something, isn't there? There we are. Alright, every little bit counts. Okay. Identify yourself. Alright. These guys have something to do with something, but I forgot what. That's not going to work. All right, so we killed them. Just like that. They have a key here. There's a note in here. I got a read. And I did. Okay, there's nothing in there. Let's go ahead and give that to Virgil. I'm going to go ahead and bash his chest open. A bunch of stuff in there that's probably not worth it. Okay, I'm going to get out of here this way. I'm going to go over here to the junk dealer and sell some of my loot. Actually, you know what? I'm going to have to get some of it identified, I think. Usually it's no good. Some of it looks pretty good, though. Like, I might have an arcane helm, but it's probably some kind of cursed helm. Let's get rid of some of this junk here. That's unidentified, unidentified. I don't need so many of these. Definitely don't need that. This is probably cursed. Don't really need that so much. Don't need so many of these, that's for sure. Okay, we gotta have the rest of the stuff identified first.
Well, that's not too bad. That's actually not too bad. Ooh. Hey, that's not too bad either. Okay, was there... Oh yeah, the ring. Ah, that's pretty good. Okay, so all these will sell for a pretty penny, I think. Let's see, I think we could probably sell some of it to her. Oh, yeah. Oh, and I needed these boots. That's good. Not interested, huh? You know what, that'd probably be a good thing to give to Virgil, actually. Definitely need these boots. These are awesome boots. Nice. Okay, yeah, I'll give that to Virgil, I think. He doesn't really need that. I'd also probably give him that just for a little defense. This I can sell. The rest of this stuff I can just trash here. And give some of this to Virgil, too. It's probably a good place to keep it. Since I don't really need it right now. I don't need that right now, either. I actually don't need that right now. I don't need those lock picks either. Actually, I was going to sell those, I think, is what I was, was going to do there. Does she have anything to buy? No. Okay. Okay, so that's good enough. Actually, let's load Virgil down with that, too. Okay, so now we're going to go advance the storyline a little bit. Are we six? Okay. And we still have our fate point, but we're probably going to use that pretty soon. here before we can go see Mr. Gilbert Bates. It's funny, um, it's, um, it's a rearrangement of the name Bill Gates. And, uh, or kind of, kind of a play off that. Um, the whole story is that he's this big inventor and uh, you find out later that he really just stole his ideas. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, let's see here. So I've got to wait till midnight. Okay, this could be up. Let me go ahead and give... Oh, wait, that's not going to work. Duh. Wait, 
There we go. Hit something, dude. Man. There we go. That's more like it. With haste, this guy can really tear things up. That's more like it. This is that quote-unquote boy that that guy was talking about in the very beginning. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Gilbert Bates, as I'm sure you have surmised. I'd like to extend my thanks to you, sir, for putting an end to the difficulties at my factory. I've been informed that there is a matter you wish to discuss. Yeah. Great gods! How did you come by that ring? A gnome? What manner of tomfoolery is this? Are you certain it was not a dwarf? Yes, I, I am familiar with the dwarves and their customs. Tell me, was there anything distinctive about this fellow? By Alberic, I knew it in my heart. That was no gnome. It was Stena Rockcutter. Yes, I know, it is madness, but... Please, tell me, did he say anything to you before he died? The evil? What evil? And where did he escape from? Something horrible must have happened after I... After I... Did he say anything else? I do not know. Even though dwarves reckon time differently than humans, he must have realized that I am now an old man. Perhaps it is because I was but a boy when I... When I betrayed his trust all those years ago. That... that is quite the long tale. A tale of my shame, it is. Well, do tell. It is ironic that my greatest mistake is that which brought me such wealth. As a youth, I was enamored of all things dwarven. So I sought out the nearest clan and attempted to impress them with my grasp of their technology. They laughed. It was obviously a novelty to them. A ridiculous human who had a natural bent towards technology. I suppose it didn't help that I was a mere 14 years old at the time. I became something they humored to entertain themselves. Stena was the only one who truly called me friend in all those years. And betrayal is how I repaid his friendship. It was he who first showed me their steam engine, as he knew I could appreciate the beautiful intricacies of its design. They had left it to rust in a corner, as they had very little use for a device that would reduce the need for sheer physical power. Imagine a dwarf relying on a device to do his digging for him. It's preposterous. I asked him if I could tinker with it, perhaps improve on it, as I knew this was the key to becoming truly a part of the dwarven world. I quickly devised a way to use it to power a pump for draining the mine. When I fell all over myself trying to explain it to them, laughter was once again their only response. I knew I had to somehow gain their respect. So I hastily sketched some schematics and set out to prove my theory. Like, uh, Microsoft? The struggling human mining company that I brought the plans to offered me a share in their mines for the steam pump. I was ecstatic. I had not a care for their mines or their money. I desired vindication. When I returned to the dwarves to boast of my accomplishments and be welcomed into their clan, they were gone. The inventions came quickly after that, fueled by my anger and confusion. How could they have denied me my place amongst them after all my labors? 
Somehow I felt I could still prove myself to them. I continued searching for them in all my spare moments, but to no avail. But they, they appeared to me late one night, and they warned me to never speak of, nor try to find the dwarves again. Still being a mere lad, you can imagine the terror that put into me. As my wealth and power grew, I shook off some of my youthful fear and hired the first in a long chain of investigators to locate Stenar and his clan. None of them ever returned with any worthwhile information, and some never returned at all. The ones that did told of vicious traps and creatures attacking them from the shadows. As word of these failures spread, it became more and more difficult to find souls brave enough to take on the challenge. He knew that ring would lend veracity to your tale. I gave Stenner that ring the last time I saw him. And now he is dead. If only we knew what he meant by the evil. Windows Vista. I don't put much stock in religious ramblings myself. But if you feel it could help you to get more information on the Panari, you should go to their temple on the northern end of Lion's Head Circle. I'm more concerned with who killed Stenner and why, and what all this has to do with my relationship with the Black Mountain clan. There must be some <coughs> clue left in the Black Mountain mines. I am certain of this. You seem to be a resourceful individual. Would you be interested in searching the mines for some clue as to their whereabouts? Not it really. It worth your while, I can assure you. But okay. Splendid. Here. Let me mark your map with the location of the Black Mountain Mines. I am certain there must be some clues to be found there. Please, return as soon as you have found anything. Oh, uh, one more thing. I would like to purchase my ring back from you. I'd give you 200 coins. It would mean quite a bit to me. My father gave it to me before he died. Much obliged. I will speak with you when you return. Okay, so we gotta go to the Black Mountain Clans. And this guy right here, you can hire this guy after you come back, and only if you're near his level, I think. Oh, no, wait. No, I think you just need, like, 13 charisma or something like that, and you can hire him. But I'm not anywhere near that. But the reason why you'd want to do that is he's really strong. He's actually stronger than uh, Half Ogre um, can get if you make one yourself. So he's like the strongest guy in the game. Pretty cool. Okay, so let's see here. Do I have anything else to do in here? I don't think so. I think that's it. Actually, let me go stock up on a few more scrolls of exiting. Seems like I could do at least one more quest and get to the next level. Actually, I don't think... Maybe I don't need to do that at all, now that I think about it. No, because I'm going to get to level 7 when I get to Caledon. Okay, let's go stock up on a few more scrolls here. Scrolls of Exiting. Let's see, major healing. There's Exiting, Exiting. Okay. I don't need any more goodies. No. Okay, I think I got as much as I need for now. Let's see here. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Yeah, let's get to Caledon then. You're not supposed to be able to get there at this point in the game, but I got a few tricks up my sleeve as far as that's concerned. fact, let me think of a... I might need more than one fate point, because there's another thing I wanted to do down there. 
I'm going to go have to check online to see where I can get another fate point. If I recall, there was some way to do it pretty easy. I gotta take a break and check on... Okay, well, um... You know what? It doesn't seem to be any easy way to get a fate point from here. So, we're just gonna go there with one fate point and just do one... One of the things I want to do there. And we'll leave the other one for later. There's this item I want to get, and I think I need a fate point to get it, if I remember correctly, but... Um, we're going to skip that for now, so we'll just go there and get, uh, basically the Caledon Elite Chainmail. That's what I wanted to get. Plus, I need to go, I need to go, um, I want to go get my, my, um, technological aptitude up to 11 so I can hire this one person I want to hire. So after that, we will come back here, I guess. But this is kind of crucial that I do this for how I'm going to play the game. So we're going to go over here. Go to Shrouded Hills first. Make sure I'm in that mode. And I am, so let's keep going. So what I want to do is I want to hire this one NPC that I can only hire if I have a technological aptitude of 10 or higher. So we got to go do that. keep going. I had to think about that for a minute. There's so many things I need to do, I'm trying to figure out what order I need to do them in. But I think first we're going to go to Caledon. Okay, now, you're not supposed to be able to get through here until this pops up on your map, but you can force it by getting real close to the area here. And I think that should probably do it. Let's see if that pops it up. Yep. Gorgoth Pass there. You're not supposed to be able to get here yet. And getting through here is easy the first time, but going it's going back through that it's hard. All you do is cast Exit and you immediately get warped to the other side. It's kind of weird, I know, but that's how it works. Oh yeah, and the enemies are actually kind of dangerous here at this point, so let's make sure we're in turn-based. Go ahead and save it. And that should be Caledon down there. Okay. Mm. okay, I don't think we even want to mess with that. All right, so this is the thing here. Now, this can be a little tricky, so I'm going to go ahead and save it right now. See if this this works. 
Oh, first I need the camera. This is the guy that teaches you master repair. And depending on what patch you have installed, you can get master repair with only this much in repair. Or I might actually have to go all the way. Um, we'll have to try it here. I think if I remember correctly, I have to put a couple more points in it. So, let's see here. First of all, to boost my intellect so I can put a, another point in here. Let's try this. This might not work, though. Okay, that's not going to work. Well, let's try that. There we are, Repair Master, and I now have 12 technical aptitude, which means I can hire that character I wanted to hire. Boom! How do you like that, huh? Pretty cool, but we have more things to do in this city. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Like I said, this is buggy. Okay. <laughs> he didn't give me the item he was supposed to give me. Okay, so... We're going to redo this here. This is why I save... Where, what about my freaking item? I don't believe it. He didn't give me the medical arachnid? <sighs> I don't get it. Maybe it's an either-or thing. I don't remember it being an either-or thing, though. I think he gives you both. He both trains you and gives you the medical arachnid. Actually, let's see. Let's see real quickly. Okay, he just gave me the medical arachnid. Let's see if he'll train me now. Okay, there we go. So now I got both. See? This is this is why you got to save all the time in this game. You never know. See, the the last time he only gave me master repair, he forgot to give me the medical arachnid. Yeah, go figure. Okay, so now we got that. So this guy is pretty good, and this is why I have master repair in the first place so I can repair this guy. And repair my other stuff too. That's kind of nice. <clears throat> okay, yeah, all right, well, let's save that. Now, like I said, we got some other stuff to do, too. Namely, gotta go break into some places. You know how that is. I gotta get my Caledon Elite Chainmail. Well, there's a guy in here. This dwarf. Not only does he have good items, he's wearing small machine plate. And that machine plate, I think you can use that as an ingredient for some other stuff. So you can lift this off him and use that. Either use it yourself or use it as an ingredient. Um... Yeah, some of this stuff is useful depending on who you have as companions. Yeah. I don't need any of it right now, though. Plus, I'm going to ditch my companions at some point. There's a magic shop up here. No. Is this a magic... Let's see if that has anything useful. Stillwater Blade summons some guys there that can be useful 
Okay. Those are nice. Ah, the light finger gauntlets. Those are those are useful. I have a use for those actually. This is not a bad shield either, but I don't want to spend money on that. Go ahead and get another one of those. Okay, that looks good. You know, I remember her having like a teleport scroll on her. something when you killed her I think or one of these guys maybe I don't I guess I don't want to do that yet though kind of pisses me off that I couldn't find a teleport scroll okay oh yeah there's another guy in the castle when you go to do a certain quest that has I think he also has a machine plate I could be wrong he has something worth stealing is this it I actually don't remember where it was. I'm looking for a certain spot over here. I think this is it. We'll still try it. Dog, you fool. Yeah, doggone it. Stupid dog. That works. Okay, was this the right one? This is the right one. Okay, the thing is... I'm going to have to use my fate point here. You can't bash this open. So, unless you can unlock it or you have somebody that can unlock it. And I don't think he has enough in pick locks, does he? Maybe he does. I'll, I'll try it. Let me let me see if um let me turn on follower skills and see if he can pick it. I doubt it. Hmm. No, lock picking failed. I don't think he has enough in lock picking. Maybe if he gets lucky. <laughs> oh, no, it's jammed. Okay. Alright. So he just doesn't have enough in lock picking. It was worth a try, though. So I'm going to have to use a fate point. That's what you got to do sometimes. Critical success at pick locks. Okay. This is locked. Well, we can just bash this in. That's how I usually deal with these problems. No, oh, there's nothing there. I don't remember there being anything worth stealing here anyway. Okay, and this is why I have the repair skill. This poor bastard is, uh... Got himself in a bad way here. Ok, 
Okay. You wouldn't think your throw skill would depend on whether or not you can get that guy back out. Alright, this is what I want here this chest. This has the good stuff. Uh, get away from there, Virgil, you little bastard. Haha, <laughs> he's trying to take my stuff. Okay, yeah! This gives plus one to all... Or it should... What? Don't tell me they screwed this up. Okay, I don't quite... Oh, maybe it's because I have too much technological aptitude. That's probably it. Anyway, this does give you, when you have uh, enough uh, magical aptitude, this does give you plus one to all these stats. I think that's why it's not working, is because I, do, I have too much technological aptitude. I hope that's it, and I hope somebody didn't screw that up. Because I'll be really pissed. Okay, so um, I think we need to get out of here now. I don't think I have anything. I have one other thing I could try, but I think I'm going to need another fate point for that. But just for fun, let me go try it now, see if I can get away with it. The Trap Master has some really nice goggles that give plus two dexterity. Um, you're supposed to only be able to get them if you complete his master quest for traps. But... Ha! <laughs> Guess what? It doesn't really matter. Okay, that's a lot. Yeah, I'm going to need a fate point for that to open that. Okay, that's... Yeah, okay. So I can't do it now. Either going to need a fate point or a high unlock um, ability with uh, when I spend my points there to get some magic. So we can't do that yet. That's okay. Okay, so we are probably done with this place for now. For the hell of it, let me check this lady. Nope. Let me see if this guy's got anything worth buying. He's, he's got some good stuff usually. Let me see if it's. Oh, that's a nice. That's a nice item right there. If I had some companions, I'd get it. Okay, yeah. Let's get out of here. Now, unfortunately, I have to go back through that pass, and it's not going to be so quick this time. That's because I didn't get a teleport scroll. Oh, how I despise that. I wonder what the hell's wrong. I know that one lady sells teleport scrolls. Um, but I just couldn't find any. And it it shouldn't be that hard to, to get them to come up. It's not that rare. So I don't know what's going on there. But unfortunately, because I don't have any teleport scrolls, I'm going to have to go through this manually, which is not going to be fun at all. It's doable, but it's not going to be too much fun. Isn't there an altar around here? There's an altar right here, I think. Ah. 
should be an altar like there it is okay I just kind of wanted to bring that up on the map there so I can teleport there later whoa boy You know what? They beat up on this thing again. I better heal it. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Alright. Cool, huh? Okay, this is the fun part. Just kidding. Alright, I'm not looking forward to this at all. It's my speed. Well, that's enough speed. I should be able to get through here. This is not going to be fun. Oh, I! Yeah, these guys are not fun in the least. So I basically got to run through this whole friggin' thing, which is not fun. Let's save sporadically here. These guys are really dangerous for my level. I don't think I'm going the right way. Oh no, and those guys are really dangerous. Can I get through here? Nope, I'm going to have to go through him. Whoa, boy! Yikes. Run, Forest, run! I'm going to have to make sure my stamina doesn't drop too low. Last thing I want to do is get knocked out over here. Oh, poison dog, huh? Okay, here's a bear. Just don't get cornered either. <laughs> okay, I think we're getting there. I think we're getting there. Come on, guys. The other problem is your companions getting getting their butts kicked while you're okay there we go we got it woohoo we did it 